Hello, I'm Alan Mustard. I am chair of the board of directors of the OpenStreetMap Foundation. I'm also a member of OSM US. I want to talk with you today a little bit about what the priorities are that the board's been working on and some directions that we're taking the foundation. Based on our consultations with the user community and the mapper community and everybody else who chimed in and, and was willing to talk to us, we concluded that the major issue before the foundation this year was stabilization of the platform. Demand for our services and for our data has been growing. Demand for data has grown 20% per year, year on year for the last few years. Demand for tiles has been growing 38% on an annualized basis for the last year or so. So we're seeing these demands on, on the data, on the hardware, and as a result, we realized we need to do something to make the platform as reliable and as stable as possible. This is going to cost money, so we have started with fundraising, and the fundraising is going quite well. I'm not prepared right now to reveal to you how much money we've raised, but to put it in perspective, we're very confident that we will have sufficient resources to pay for a systems reliability engineer full-time, we are already uh, have a contract with Quincy Morgan for maintenance of the ID editor full time. We have also allocated some funds in support of Nomenatum, uh, SQL to OSM, and to Potlatch. So the software that runs the systems that we use for editing, that we use for maintaining the system, this is all being worked on. We've made offers to other software developers so far Nobody else has said that they actually need the money. So you might ask, what else are we focused on? We're focused on making sure that the operations working group has the resources that it needs in order to run the hardware and software. We fully funded the operations working group's budget request this year. And as for the board, the board is now focusing on institutionalizing all of this because it's one thing to raise money as a one-off sort of a, an exercise. It's another thing to go out and hire somebody or to, to do a contract. It's another thing to put it in place robust systems to assure that this will be durable, that these sorts of things can go on for the near term and then beyond. So we're looking at creating a budget process, a strategic planning process, putting in place a personnel committee on the board. And all of this is putting a tremendous amount of strain on us, the board members, because there aren't very many of us. There aren't enough of us to do all the work. So we'll be coming out to the community soon asking for your agreement for an amendment to the Articles of Association so that board committees can consist of more than just board members. So board committees would be chaired by a board member, but we could then request and enlist and, and coax volunteers from the community to come in and help us with some of these administrative tasks. And I want to be very clear about something. There are two domains in the OSM project. The first domain is the fun domain, the mapping, uh, playing with the data, uh, cleaning up the data, using the data, and generating maps. That's the, that's the reason I joined the project. That's why I'm a, still a volunteer mapper, because I, li I like it. It's fun. But then there's the administrative side that's not as much fun that requires that we go out and we do all these other things like raise money and, and, and hire people to, to fix things or to build things or to, to maintain things. And those two domains are separate. The first domain is pretty much in the hands of the working groups and the volunteers. The second domain is increasingly in the hands of the board and of people that the board is going to be working with and in some cases paying. So those are the two domains, and we don't want those domains necessarily to be confused with each other. So the working groups will continue as they have been. What we want to do is have board committees that will help us, the board, carry out the administrative tasks. That's what's on our minds. That's what we're working on. We'd like to hear from you. What do you think the board should be focused on? What do you think the foundation should be worried about? Please be in touch with us. You can find us on our, our contact information is on the website, and we would always enjoy hearing from you. Thank you.